Hello, 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 and welcome to Shopping with Cheryl. Today we have a fresh unboxing. Yeah, just got this, so I will be unboxing it. It is a 10-piece non-stick cookware set, set that was sent to me, and I will be checking it out. I figured y'all could come along with me as we get a first glance at this. As you can tell, it's a pretty good size box. 10 pieces. Ought to be everything I need to make, you know, fancy gourmet meals. Again, if y'all know me, you know that isn't going to happen. Fancy gourmet is not really what I know how to cook. But there will be an affiliate link for it in the description below. If you use my link and make a purchase, I may make a commission. And we are going to start looking at this. Probably ought to put this knife away. Hmm. Yeah, probably not a great thing to have in my hand. All right. Well, oh my. It is packed. That is a stiff cardboard box. Holy moly's. All right. Now, as you can see, it is packed in lots of foam and cardboard. Always a good thing. Here we go, a little booklet. Now this is PFOA free. So that means that it's not like the old style Teflons that have chemicals in there that are harmful. So this is, from what I understand, I'm not a, I'm not a chemical engineer, scientist person, but this is good up to 500 degrees and you don't have to worry about it. That's, I read up on it a little bit because I really, I know what PFOA is, but I didn't quite understand all of that. And that is a chemical that's in the old type Teflons that was not so great when you heated it. So we don't have to worry about that with this set. All right, it's showing me, oh, I get to put stuff together. I'm going to have to get a screwdriver, it looks, too. That's okay. I'll figure that out when the time comes. I should be able to handle this. And shows the same thing in different languages, I do believe. We're good. I can do this. All right. So, first up, here we go. This is, these are handles. And they are packed packed in this foam. Holy moly. Oh, they're heavy too. These handles are heavy duty. They're not lightweight. Each one is labeled nicely with what handle it goes on. This is the eight inch frying pan. This one goes on the 10 inch fry pan. We have one for the grill pan. These are probably lid handles. So we've got all of that in here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set this over. Well, no, I can do this. I just don't have, my table's really not big enough for all this. All right. More heavy duty foam. All right, first up. Here we go. We have, now this is tempered glass. So that way you don't have to worry about them breaking as easily. It's got a nice handle attached nicely. There you go. I'm just going to put all these down and then we'll get them all out. Once I get them all out, I'll show them all to you. Next up, I'm going to show you this because it is, if I can lift it, look at this. It's packed in there tight. No moving around with this stuff to hold the handle, I assume. All right. In this big sauce, it looks more like a stock pot, is more lids. A smaller lid. No handle. I'll have to attach that. Put it back in there for right now. And, oh, another lid. This is like, 
one of those Russian dolls where you just keep opening stuff. Another lid, I'll put the handle on. All wrapped in foam, or foam, bubble wrap is what it's wrapped in. All right. Next up. Da, 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 da. We have the, this is, I think it says it's a two quart. Let's pull this out. Nice big handles on it. There you go. Ooh. Look at the bottom of this. Now these are supposed to heat really evenly and I've seen people that tested them that said they did. So that's nice. You can use these on induction stove tops too. Look at the handles on that. I don't know which way is best to show you, but look at those. I like how they put come out. Might keep them from getting as hot. Now one thing I do notice too, and I read about this, is they don't have, where the handles attach, they don't have a, uh, the screw or the seal, how they hold them on, inside the pan. And I know that a lot of times when you have that inside the pan, it can gather food and get kind of icky. These do not have that. It's in the layers, so you don't have to worry about food getting stuck around the other piece of the handle. All right. We are getting down there, folks. Ten pieces. It's coming up. I hear rat rods down the street. They must be at the stoplight. I can hear them. <laughs> All right. Yet another nice pan. This is... Let's see. I'm trying to think of which one this would be. This is the 10 inch fry pan. There again, nice bottom. Wave at the rat rods. Hi, Paul. Sounds like Paul and maybe Eric and Brian. There you go. Again, nowhere on the, in the pan to get food stuck. Nice big handle. Put that foam back on these. And yeah, I'm putting them all back exactly as they were so that I can keep everything straight as we go through it. All right. My box is coming down. Next up. <laughs> a lid. Yay, a lid. This probably fits on that 10 inch, I'm assuming. Nice sturdy handle. And we will keep moving on. We are getting there because I've got four lids out so far. So, do, 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 do. This one is probably the, I'm looking over here, uh, one point something saucepan. That's what I'm guessing. Again, no place for the gunk to get stuck. Nice and smooth. They're actually kind of thick. I know when I used to get the, way back when you got the non-stick pans that were uh, an aluminum type and they were super duper thin. These are heavier because they're layered and that's going to make a difference with heating so that you get a more even heating area. All right, look at this. We're getting there, folks. I don't even know what all we have left. I'll have to watch the video to see how this all went in. Okay. Oh, this one doesn't have the handle. Uh, I have to attach it. Oh, cool. Because I was wondering when they sent the handles to be attached, I thought, then I'm going to have the little piece in here. How am I going to attach them? Wrong. 
look at that you screw it right into there so you still don't have that inside all right this might be my eight inch fry pan i'm just guessing here i've got the picture up so i'm trying to uh make sure i'm right and we have more packing they don't mess around with the packing i can tell you that and here is the 10 inch i do believe there you go again i'll have to attach the handle we still have the nice bottom nice and thick it actually feels really nice this this has a textured feel on the outside it's not that shiny like they used to be. I haven't used non-stick in a long time. And so this is kind of, uh, they've upgraded things from the old non-stick, that's for sure. All right. Looks like I have just one more to go. Let me see what this is. Oh, this, this is what I'm kind of excited about. I like the whole set, but I'm really excited about this one. <coughs> this is a griddle. Look at that. I love it that you can hold that meat, whatever you're cooking, up off there so you can get a little bit of the grease drainage right there. It's nice and thick because I, when I saw the picture, I thought it was going to be thin, you know, just a smaller, but this is nice. So let me get a screwdriver. We're going to put handles on and then we can see the whole set at once. How's that? We'll be right back, basically in a flash. Okay, so I wanted to bring you in close so we could see this because I'm going to be putting my handles on. And I'm going to switch my handy dandy screwdriver here. All right. So this is the grill pan. And it is 10.75 inch. Here's the handle. Oh, all nicely taped up. Let's get this bad boy out. And yes, like I said, these are all labeled nicely so you can be sure which pan they go on. They have the screws right in there. Now I'm going to put my screw right through there. Let me see here. They sent two. I hope I only need one. I'm not sure how else they would go in. I guess I could have read the instructions, huh? Shows what I know. Let me see here. All right, I just double checked. There's the screw with a little washer. And just gonna put my handle. Oh, it slips in nice because it has the little groove here. Easy to slip in. Line that up. Phillips screwdriver and we will just tighten it down. Turn that up so I can make sure I'm getting it good. All right, now I've tightened it good. Didn't wrench it in there too, too much, but there you go. We have one done, yay! Now, this is my 8-inch fry pan. Again, labeled nicely. I'm sure all these screws are exactly the same. Or I would think they would be. I could be wrong. I'll keep them together just in case I am. All right. Ah, there. Holy moly, they pack these really good. Now, if you've watched my channel much or watched me on Amazon Live, y'all know I am not an expert cook. 
but I'm getting enough stuff that I have plenty to practice with. <laughs> I'll be doing another video trying these out. I figured I'd just make an unpacking video, let y'all get a glance at these, see how they are, and then I will clean them up and do some cooking on another video. Because A, I have to figure out what I can cook. Again, right there. Just going to slip. I mean, you can't even get the handle backwards because it's shaped. Stick that in and we'll attach this. Some of y'all I know probably started cooking as kids. I didn't. My mother had a hard rule in our house. If you don't know how to cook, stay out of the kitchen. Well, while that was great for her, at the time it was kind of cool for us kids because we didn't have to do a lot. But once I needed to know how to cook, that didn't help out so much. One more pan to go and then we've got a couple of lids. This is the 10 inch fry pan. I did know how to cook some things. I mean, like macaroni and cheese. Uh, we were one of the first people growing up to have a microwave. So the problem came when I learned how to cook on a microwave, with a microwave, not on a microwave. Then I went and started babysitting and those people didn't necessarily have a microwave and I didn't know how to cook. I remember calling and asking how long to boil a hot dog. Mind you, I was about 11, 12 years old and did not know how long you had to cook a hot dog. I know, I know, it's sad, but that's the way it was. Let me see, okay, I gotta get a washer and a screw on this one. And what did we say this was? The 10 inch fry pan. What was the first thing you learned to cook? Cause yeah, I was, I learned how to make boxes of macaroni and cheese. Uh, I could bake a frozen pizza. Probably one of the first things I learned when I could use, allowed to use the stove, was popcorn. Because my dad made popcorn all the time and that's, we had a big old popcorn popper that you put on the stove and it had the turn crank handle. I love that. I wish I could find another one of those because it was just kind of cool. There you go. One more. Done. Then once we're done putting these things together, I will get the whole set up, move you back so we can look at the whole set. And I'm going to take it that these are the same size with all this plastic stuff. Please don't let your children play with it. They have warnings on there. Oh, I see, maybe my screws, I'm gonna need those to attach my handles. Aha, and then you have one left over. It's like, why did they send so many screws? I mean, I lose things, but not usually that bad. Oh no, the screws are in them, I'm wrong. Oh my gosh, put that back in there. The screws are in the lids. So, we'll just take that out. That's what you get when you watch an unboxing. You get us not knowing exactly what we're doing. But yeah, I used to be able to make popcorn. I was good at popcorn. Now this has a little washer let me see if I can get that off. And a little plastic piece. I don't know how easy that is to see. Right there. And you'll want that facing up. Just that's going to help seal it, I do believe. We'll get this started. Yeah, and when I played sports... I uh, a lot of times had to get home off the school bus and then 
fix my own dinner because my mother wasn't going to be home in time. So I did have to learn to cook a few things. Like I said, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> That's about the extent of it. Since then, I have learned to cook a few other things. Still not ranking up there in the expert chef realm. In fact, I will never rank up there because I don't... I'm a very picky eater. And so I don't really like a lot of fancy food because they always have stuff in there I don't want to eat. <laughs> Anything with mushrooms ain't doing it. You know, there's a lot of that stuff I just don't want. All right. This is it. Once I tighten this down, we will move you back, get the whole set out, and be able to see it. Tighten that good. All right. There you go. Okay, let's move you back. Check out this set. Okay, as you can tell, let me let me look at this. There, I have a small table that's adjustable size height, and that's what I use. It's not big enough for this complete cookware set. That's pretty freaking cool if you ask me. I mean, this has everything you need. Now, this is a three-quart, no, this is a four-quart stock pot with lid. Four quart right there. You also got your griddle that I actually kind of think, I think this is awesome because I don't have one of these. So I think this is probably my favorite piece right now just because I don't like my food laying in grease. So there's another piece and this, let's see. We've got two of these, and I think this lid interchanges. Yep, it interchanges. So this would be probably my three-quart fry pan with lid. I'm guessing this is the three-quart. Yep. All right. Then with the same lid. This will be my 10 inch fry pan. I'm guessing. I, I don't know which one's which. Either way, this might be the three quart and the other one, the 10 inch fry pan. Yes, I think so. This will be the three quart because it's a lot deeper. Let's look at this. Grab this back up. And yeah, you can tell a difference. This is the three quart, this is the 10 inch fry pan. So this is gonna come in handy, being deep. Yeah, I'm banging and clanging. I like how that one is deep because it never fails. You need something with higher sides when you go to make something, but you don't wanna use a big like stock pot. Yeah, that one will come in handy, especially for things like gravy. We're gonna try that out sometime too. All right, then we have the two smaller pans. This one will be, let me guess here, eight inch fry pan da, 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 with matching lid. Then this one will be the one point, one point, I'm looking, 1.68 quart saucepan with lid. And like I said, you can use these on all different types of stove tops. I, I watched some videos of some people that had these and they say they heat real nice and evenly. So we'll be checking that out, like I said, in another video because I need to get these cleaned up, ready to use, and then I will cook something. Probably won't be real fancy, but I'll cook something. So there you go. Like I said, there's an affiliate link in the description below. You can go check those out. If you use my link and make a purchase, I may make a commission. Also, there's a link to follow me on Amazon over there. I greatly appreciate everybody that has clicked follow over there. You can see me live. In fact, I'll be showing these off real soon, probably several times. So 
check me out over there. Don't forget, you can subscribe here too. And I will see you in the next video.